Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the channel. Now, in the last Trailmakers episode, uh, I built this thing, which is called the Mono Spinner, and it flies using only a single moving part. It's controllable using only a single moving part, too. And uh, if you're wondering how that works, you'll have to check out the original video. But I got a ton of requests since that video to take a stab at building a creation, a flying creation invented by Leonardo da Vinci. And this invention is called the Aerial Screw. So let's take a look at what this thing's all about. Okay, so I got a picture right here. So you can see that there's essentially a cloth fabric or a sail, we'll call it, that is in a corkscrew shape, which that alone is going to be hard enough to replicate in this game. Making a corkscrew, I don't even... I'm not even sure how to do that yet. But the idea is that you get people. This is a person-powered aircraft. You get people to stand on this platform and then push with their hands against these bars. And this essentially works like a treadmill where this floor is... They're going to be spinning this floor underneath their feet as they push. And that is attached to this whole central bar, which is attached to the sail causing the sail to rotate around and theoretically once the sail rotates fast enough because of its angle it should deflect the air downwards causing lift right now as i was thinking about this one glaring issue came to mind if they're going to be pushing against these handles they're going to have to be pushing against another part of this craft and when it's on the ground sure yeah it's the friction of it on the ground is going to keep it steady but as soon as this thing lifts off the ground, they're going to start learning about conservation of momentum and the whole platform is going to start counter rotating, which will then take away energy from the sail system, causing them to lose lift. And then they're back on the ground. Now, that may seem like an obvious flaw to us nowadays because we live in a time where everybody learns about conservation of momentum in like elementary school. Leonardo existed before Isaac Newton was ever born. <laughs> so no one ever taught Da Vinci about Newton's laws of motion because Newton never invented them yet. So I guess you could say, in theory, at the time, this could work because they lacked the theory of conservation of momentum. All right, but all jokes aside, even though I know this thing is destined to fail, I'm still motivated to try to create this design here and then see if I can actually try to modify it to make it work. So the Wikipedia page is actually surprisingly limited. Like this is the whole page right here, but it does actually address this a little bit. It says there were no indications for any provision to stop the reaction against the rotation of the sail from making the craft itself rotate in the opposite direction. And yeah, that to me is the key flaw with this. Now, in my attempts to find replicas of this thing actually in action, the best thing I've managed to, to find is actually a crazy animation video. Okay, so uploaded in 2008 by Illustrator Martin. This is part two of um, a series of him animating this thing. So this gives you a pretty good idea about how it's visually supposed to look as it's flying. So hold on, let's get on to the next scene here oh no they're starting to lift off so as you can see this bottom platform isn't moving because this is what's on the ground and they are essentially rotating this platform with their feet as if they're running on a treadmill and then that translates into the entire screw but uh as soon as this bottom platform stops contacting the ground the effect that we should see so as soon as they take off in real life you should start seeing this bottom platform counter rotating now that it no longer has friction on the ground but um, this is an animation and he can make it happen however he wants. So look, it's working. It, they're gone. They're, they're gone forever. No, oh, there they go. There they go. <laughs> this, this is never going to work. This is not how this is ever going to work. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of ridiculous. Let's, let's make it. Obviously, I'm not going to have people powering this thing. I'm just going to create a corkscrew thing that spins. Okay, so like I got sails here, of course, but honestly, I have like, how am I supposed to make the thing, these things corkscrew if I'm building on a 90 degree build grid? Okay, so my inclination is to have a servo on top kind of like this, and then this servo is just gonna angle by like, I don't know, 25 degrees or so. But then like building this in a corkscrew around the pole, I, I, I'm not seeing a clear and easy way to do this just yet. Okay, I mean, 
Is that kind of a start? It's weird. No, it's 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 it has a weird angle to it. All right, so this does not look pretty or elegant at all, but it's the basic idea is kind of working here. The corkscrew shape is extremely hard to create. Um, but we have a problem. When I'm in the build grid, these are just going on the same plane around in a circle. And uh, if I want to continue this, I'm gonna it's gonna collide with itself. So I need to enter onto a new plane. So I'm going to have actually here we go. Problem solved. Boom, just like that. All right. I don't know. I don't know. Let's continue this down and hope for the best. This is this is a terrible idea. <laughs> I mean, not only in reality, this is a terrible idea for trail makers too. This is not. This is not looking well for this. All right, I've done my best here, and uh, I gotta be honest, I'm happy with the corkscrew design. I am not having a lot of confidence in the stability of this thing, because um, due to the limitations of the build grid and how this works to create a corkscrew design, all of this weight of these servos, hinges, and sails are attached by a single point at the top. The rest of it is just kind of flopping down. It's not secured to the pole at all. And there's no way to secure it up that I know of. So I imagine if this thing ends up spinning fast enough to get any considerable amount of force, that it's going to kind of want to expand away from the center. But there's only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and slap a base on this thing and uh, make it spin. All right, right now this thing is actually anchored to the ground just so I can watch the spinning action by itself because that's that's what I think is going to be suspect here right now. All right, here we go in three, two, one, spin. Hey, that actually doesn't look bad. The question is, is this enough? Is this enough spinning to generate any type of lift? Here, let's go ahead and delete the anchor block. Can this thing even stand up on its own? There we go. All right, ready? Okay, exactly what I was worried about is happening now. Um, oh, here, oh no, I got an idea. I got an idea. Right now I wanna find out if this theoretically could create enough lift to lift itself. And right now we are falling victim to Newton's pesky laws here. Unfortunately, we live in a time when those were invented, so I gotta deal with them now. That's sarcasm, by the way. I understand that's not how physics really works. You don't invent physics and then it applies to you. It's always been that way. Sometimes the YouTube comments just don't get sarcasm. All right, so my way to fight against Newton here is to actually have it be anchored to the ground. This way we can develop all the torque we need in the screw without counter rotation. And then when we release from the ground at whatever the speed we've achieved, is that enough to get us to just lift up a little bit before the counter rotation starts to take away the energy? Let's find out. This isn't the straightest anchoring, but uh, here we go. And three, two, one, detach. I, we didn't get any lift off there. I was hoping that we would get something. And I'm using this type of servo. It's slower, but it's really, really strong, has high torque. I wasn't sure if uh, the helicopter engine was gonna be strong enough, but I guess let's try it and compare the results. All right, will this thing spin faster? It really doesn't look that much faster. We might have a max speed here with uh, just the resistance of these, but let's detach. Whoa, 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 we're flying. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and we're coming back down. Yeah, I think the, uh, the base ended up absorbing more and more energy the longer we were in the air, but I didn't expect it to work for that long. All right, and detach. Look at that, we actually get enough lift. That's insane. Okay, well, what happens then if I detach before I start generating the spinning? All right, so now I am not attached to the ground. Is it possible to lift off the ground like this? Okay. I am honestly very surprised. But all right, let's actually build this out to be a little bit more true to the original design. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think I've done a pretty good job at visually representing what it looks like. However, that's kind of where the accuracy stops because uh, these bars are not supposed to rotate with this floor. Um, but I couldn't really figure out a good system to make it a separate rotating entity. I tried a couple of things, but it completely changed the physics of the actual sail itself. Um, but as you can see, it's glorious. Look at its glory. Uh, I don't know why that started happening. I didn't change anything with the sails, but 
it does seem like it's a lot more clidey. Actually, this is a better run. Look at this. We're actually going up. We're going up relatively straight, too. I, as you can see, I put my seat in the center of it, so now we're just spinning around. <laughs> Here, let's go into first person. Let's see what this is like. Oh, yeah. this is I know exactly what's going on. This is kind of what would happen, like, if it really took off with human power. Like, you'd start spinning around, no doubt. All right, but I'm actually kind of mind blown that this gets us up in the air at all. I was really thinking that the counter rotation of the base, once we lift it off, would just take away all the essential energy we needed to maintain flight. But if I feather the throttle here, like, I can kind of float in place. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> this actually is working. But if I hold it, like, max speed, uh, yeah, it, uh, it doesn't like it. Too bright. Oh, and there it goes. Completely dead. Oh, I just realized I have control. What happens if I press A and D? Oh, oh, that's kind of cool. You know what that means? I could control my altitude. I can totally... Oh, this is working really, really well. Oh, okay. It's not working really, really well anymore. But if this was stable, this system I have right here could be essentially collective pitch on a helicopter. It would allow us to gain altitude and lower altitude while spinning at the same speed. I could essentially find a hovering point. And hold on. There's a way to program this. So if I do hold position, I can manually expand and contract it to any distance that I want, which um, if it was stable, this should allow me to gradually control how much I go up and down, basically. All right, so let's try it out. If I spin like this, nothing should happen. I shouldn't lift off. And yeah, I kind of don't. I kind of do a little. It's just, I just can't keep it to... I can't keep it nice and steady. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's get some pitch in here. All right, now we're going up. I'm gonna hold the throttle the whole time. This is max throttle, and now I can let myself down. Ugh, kind of, not really. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of hovering now, almost. <laughs> I'm not going up anymore. I'm just kind of slowly, very slowly floating back down. It's just not consistent. You can still see sometimes they're getting angles, which is deflecting wind, and uh, that's causing me to not be able to consistently come back down. This is clearly a very, very glitchy version, but you understand what I'm going for, right? Here, let's adjust the speed of the uh, motor here. Okay, ready? We activate. Get up to speed. And now we pitch, and we should lift off. Good. All right, and now I'm gonna hold the speed, but now I'm gonna retract and we should come back down. There we go. I mean, kind of, we, we weren't very stable. All right, hold on, let's lift off more straight. Come on, lift up, lift up, there we go. All right, now we have less of an angle, this is good. This is like just barely enough speed to gain altitude, but that's good because now I can uh, raise the sails and slowly come back down to the ground. Landing is not easy, too, because of the, uh, the momentum. But this is way cooler than I was expecting it was going to be. At least we, we, we added something to the original design. <laughs> and sails up. And we slowly come back down, just like that. Yeah. We're back on the ground. And then sails down. And we lift off again. And sails up. And we come back down. Oh, uh oh, we're not coming back down now. What's happening? They all, they all got caught up on each other. All right, all right, we're we're done. We're done here. We did we had successful flight. Well, somehow I think I've successfully managed to bring Da Vinci's creation to life here. I honestly I doubted it. I didn't think it was gonna work, but uh, perhaps. Perhaps Da Vinci didn't need Newton's laws after all. So if you have any other crazy inventions or contraptions, machines, vehicles uh, that you'd like to see me try to replicate in a video game, uh, let me know down in the comments below. I've been taking notes. I've been reading the comments and writing down things that I think would be interesting. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those future videos. And if you missed some of the other videos, go ahead and check out right on the end screen right here. You can find some of them. Anyway, hope this video has earned your subscription. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.